What's up YouTube, this is Prince with ATP 101 and I have another set of awesome tweaks for you guys. So this is my iPhone 10, obviously. And the first tweak is called home gesture. So if you want the gestures like the iPhone 10 where you could swipe up like that and then you could like swipe away and do all that kind of stuff. All these little gestures that the iPhone 10 has without the home button. If you're on the iPhone 8 or iPhone 7 or 6 and you want those gestures, just download home gestures. It will give you all these cool gestures with the iPhone 10. So yeah, the next one is called Photicon. Photicon basically, whenever you take a picture, the last picture that you're taking, it becomes the, the icon of the photo app. So if I go to my photos, you can see that's the last picture I took. And you can see right there, it's basically the same photo. So Photicon basically just switch it up and the last picture you're taking is the photo icon. And the other one is called Wake Info. Wake Info basically it's like an alarm tweak. Let's go to the settings. So you could set it up however you want. If I go right here, like whenever the alarm goes off, it'll like read off all these information to you. I, I could hit test. Today is March 7th, 2018. The time now is 9.19 p.m. The temperature at Newcastle County is 35 degrees. Sunrise at 6.24 a.m. Battery charged at 40%. So whenever the alarm goes off, basically it will read all these information off to tell you the weather, tell you your battery percentage, and you could even tweak it to put whatever you want. If you want your message or whatever like that, it's called Wake Info, and you guys could go in here, set it up however you like. But that's the gist of it. It just whenever the alarm goes off, you could hit, you could snooze or dismiss. Once you hit dismiss, blah blah blah, and for snooze. It is Wednesday. You get the time the, now is 9.20 p.m. The condition outside is overcast clouds. You have 9,288 unread emails. So, yeah, that one is called Wake Info 2. And the other one is called Border Icon Plus. If you see around the app icons, you see I have that border around there. That tweak is called Border Icon Plus. So if I go into settings... To go in here and have this the outside of the icon right now I have it on red but if I want to switch it to green just like that hold up it's not changing but Save changes, respring. I want it. And now you can see it changed to green. So basically, you could just set it up however you like. And the, the theme that I'm using, this clear theme, is called Glass Cart. Glass Cart, I think that's what it's called. I check at the end of the video. But yeah, you could just change up the outlook of your icons. And the other one is called Hood Vibrate. So when I do my volume, whenever it hits 100%, the phone will vibrate. And then when I go all the way to zero, it will vibrate again. And you could actually go back in the settings and set it up however you like it. So I got vibrate all. So every tap, the phone would vibrate. I mean, I have it to vibrate max and min. That's whenever I hit the maximum, I hit the minimum the phone will vibrate and you could go in here and like set up the vibration length and the intensity all that kind of stuff and that one is called vibrate it's called hood vibrate and the other one is called pico banners pico banners is a real cool one if you don't like the big notification banners on your iphone this one makes them a little bit smaller so i'm gonna send myself a text i'm gonna send myself a text test and hit go you see that small banner right there so that's what pico banner does it just basically gives you a nice little small banner and this speak pico banner too and the other one is called custom lock screen duration custom lock screen duration if i lock my phone and open it you can see it closes after two seconds so i could actually change that 
to whatever I want. So where is it at? Right now it's on two seconds. I could set it to twenty seconds. And I lock my phone. And it won't lock for twenty seconds. So custom lock screen duration. It just you could basically adjust the time and you could set it up however you please. You know what I mean? So yeah, custom lock screen duration. And the other one is called Deny Photo Album. Deny Photo Album basically gives you the option to remove certain albums. So you see I don't have places and I don't have another one. So if I go to settings, I forgot what the other one I removed. Go back in the settings right here. So I have the the people and the places. They're no longer in the photo album. So when I go in there there's no people and places it's just these two for some reason it won't let me remove the delete photo but yeah you guys could go in the settings and remove whatever album from the photo app so yeah the other one is called formula one one formula one one basically if I go to Cydia you know because Sarix repo crash Cydia and then Electra remove it so whenever it loads it will give you that error so if you want to remove that error and add a little flare to your um, Cydia, you could download Formula 1.1. I won't get that error anymore. You see right over there, it was green. And if I, I mean, Rocket Boost Shop and all this stuff needs to get updated. And if I go to update it, just update all these. You can see that loading bar now is green. And it just switches up, that gives Cydia a little bit more flair. And it removes the error that a lot of people have been asking me about. So, you can see now it's kind of a different color. And then it's going to load up. Let's go back into Cydia. You can see that. It's a lot faster now as well. So, the last tweak I want to show you guys is called Tweak Compatible. Tweak compatible is a must-have tweak if you're a jailbreaker. It basically lets you know whatever tweak is compatible with the jailbreak right now. So if I scroll down, let's find something. Let's tap on this tweak right here. If you'll see down at the bottom, it says status working. This pack this package version has been marked as working based on feedback from users. So whenever you download a tweak, this will appear before you download it so you could see if it's working or not and you could actually go in there and says you could actually tap on works and you could put whatever version you're on and all that kind of stuff and everybody and then this tweak will get updated as working so if you test it out and it's working you could go in there and set it up and it will tell you as you can see right there it said it's working let's try another tweak status not working so this tweak isn't working and I could contest that it's, it's, I could attest to that so yeah that's not working let's do formula one one likely working so that's what this tweak does it basically will give you a breakdown of whether or not the tweak is working and yeah those are it guys 10 tweaks is printed ATP 101 make sure to rate comment and subscribe peace thanks for watching